top of the Tourmalet. 1,300 metres to go. Here goes Michael Woods, searching for King of the Mountains points, being tracked immediately by Wout Poles in the King of the Mountains jersey, the red and white polka dots. Well, only one the, around one and a half kilometres to go on the climb for these two riders. Michael Woods hasn't been able to sprint, out sprint Wout Poles for these sprints, so he has gone from a long way out. He's trying to crack Wout Poles. They catch on his Aguirre, who's a very talented climber, and go past him as though he's standing still. I get the feeling that EF might be pulling back all the troops now. Guerrero goes. So we've got two leaders, two Frenchmen on the Tourmalet. Michael Woods goes again, another big attack, trying to get rid of Wout Poles. He's searching for the King of the Mountains jersey. And Mike Woods knows he has to do everything to crack Welt Poles here. Welt Poles still looking very in control, spinning extremely high gear on the wheel. Now out of the seat, shadowing Mike Woods up the up this Mont Ventoux. Called, called, called the Tourmalet. Called the Tourmalet. Tourmalet now at the top almost. One kilometre to go. Woods almost uh, runs over the feet of that policeman at the side of the road. These two riders doing track stands as they make their way towards the top of the Tourmalet. This is a great competition, a great tussle between these two. They might ultimately be beaten by Tadi Pogacar if he won the stage, but we've enjoyed the entertainment, we've enjoyed the way that they have conducted themselves in this competition. Well, these two riders just off the front of this yellow jersey group.